Okay, I should be starting this here now, but I've, I've already laying down. Uh, we're doing a read a little bit before I take this nap. Romina by Junji Ito. I just, <laughs> I just opened it. Saw this big thing with the tongue coming out and I was like, oh, already I'm creeped out. And then I look at the, the contents and it's like chapter one, chapter two, whatever. Chapter five, Licking Planet? Like, I guess that's what that is, but... I don't want It's so gross. Ooh. Yay, can't wait to get to, to that section. Okay, it's like choose Wednesday morning. Like 2 a.m. or something, I don't know. I haven't been able to do a lot for the last couple of days because I've been quite sick, so I've mainly just been sleeping, which obviously now means I'm nocturnal, so that's fun. I really want to get this video done, and I've really sort of wet my appetite again for reading, so I will have a lot of reviews coming up soon. Um, but I do want to finally get through some Junji Ito. I want to do a, a reading vlog today, tonight, right now. I have already started this. I've, I think I'm about a third of the way through, maybe. So far, very gross, very weird, uh, very graphic, as graphic novels go. So I'm looking forward to it, to getting through this. I think I'll probably get through this pretty quickly and then I also have uh, Uzumaki as well which is much much chunkier so it might take me a little bit but I think I could get through it pretty quickly I have something exciting coming up this week if I can pull everything together for the first of February which is like two or three days from now so I have something that I hope other people can get excited about too so that's gonna be fun to do. But right now, I do just wanna chill. I, I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, I stopped playing it for like eight months, but I'm getting back into it now, but I'm just kinda of sick of fishing for trout today. So, I'm gonna get into Romina and see what the fuss about Junji Ito is. So I just finished Romina. Um, I feel like I haven't said what it's about yet. Romina is about um, a scientist who discovers a black hole and out of that black hole is a planet and he names it after his daughter because it was found on her 16th birthday and it's 16 light years away from Earth. Um, so he names her daughter after it because he names he names the planet after her daughter. His daughter then becomes quite famous and everybody loves her and thinks she's amazing and she doesn't really want to be famous but she's kind of thrust into the limelight uh, and then of course the planet starts acting strange, stars start disappearing and it starts heading for Earth. Um, so while Earth is descending into chaos people think that she's kind of drawing it to Earth so they think if she they torture her or kill her or sacrifice her, um, it will stop the planet from destroying them. Uh, fun, fun, fun. So, very graphic, very violent, very torture 
heavy, but this is gorgeous, so. That's like the last inside cover, which is like a color version for Romina, which is gorgeous, but um, yeah, I'll be honest, I, I kind of got to the middle of this and I thought it was sort of typical, sort of like I knew exactly where it was going to go and exactly what was going to happen, but then it really got me in the end again and there were a couple of little little tiny twists there that I wasn't like wasn't really expecting. I think we're we're done quite well. There's obviously some underlying tones here of, you know, fandom and having obsessions with celebrities and, and young beautiful people and definitely a some commentary on uh the rich rich people and stuff. It was the yeah, it was good. It was also very, it, it also made me feel sick a lot of the time. I really don't like tongues and licking and wet things. Um, but it seems like Junji Ito really likes those things. So there were a couple of things I wish were a little different. I I kind of wish. So it's mainly like Romina trying to run away from all these people trying to kill her, and I I kind of wish. She did more than just suffer. Like she just seemed to be there to be tortured and suffer and be sort of dragged along by people trying to save her and I wish some part of it was her saving herself or at least helping or attempting to help save herself but she just kinda gets dragged along. But, and then a lot of other people who are trying to help her get caught in the crossfires so unfortunate for them. That was just the one thing that sort of stuck out to me uh, that I would change but definitely creepy definitely messed up definitely gives you that existential dread you know anywho i love this little guy he's been staring at me from my desk right across from my pillow so i've been like looking into his eyes as i fall asleep it's fun so on to uzumaki the um oh lord the spiral horror Ooh, look that good in there. Um, gorgeous artwork. Gorgeous and horrific. Kind of my favorite things, to be honest with you. Oh, I should have opened that. So I'm gonna take a, a small break, um, and I'm gonna get into this one. I, I it might take me a bit longer to read this, to be honest, but I'll get it done. And these will finally be off my TBR. So I just finished the first um, chapter of this and so far it's very interesting. I haven't read it. Uh, it's you're sort of following this um, teenage girl called Kiri who lives in a an isolated town at the bottom of a mountain and uh, one day her friend who 
has just started at a high school out of town, so I think he has to get the train there. He starts expressing that he wants to leave town and he hates this town and she can't, she's like, why, what's wrong with our, our town? And it's because his father has become obsessed, obsessed with spirals. Uh, she finds him down an alleyway, just staring at an empty snail shell and apparently his house is just filled with springs and fossils and anything that has spirals on it. And he goes a little bit mental and starts becoming obsessed with trying to make himself into a spiral and stuff and um, things become more and more unhinged and because of this his son is noticing spirals now his wife um, develops a phobia of spirals she can't while well, he loved them and he wanted to be near them she can't be anywhere near them and that includes her own um, fingerprints and anything else so things are getting very dark. This is very, this is grotesque, very visceral. The imagery in this is just, ugh, it's really out there. Kind of reminds me of um, the movie 23, that weird horror thriller that Tom Cruise was in. I remember when that came out and like my friends saw it and they were all like seeing the number 23 everywhere and if you add add up your date of birth, it'll make 23 and all this nonsense. Um, but it is interesting. I, it's such a simple thing, just a simple shape. And if you want to, you really could find it anywhere. And it's really the obsession that these people have. That's, that's the real horror and that's driving them crazy. Uh, I like it so far. I'm wondering just how far it'll go, but I'm assuming quite far based on Romina. I have, I am looking around now trying to find um, spirals and I actually, I was expecting to see them everywhere, but I can't see any. I'm in the bathroom. I have a galaxy kind of thing on my shirt. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Spiral in the galaxy. The whole galaxy is a spiral. We are in the spiral. But this far in. No. Um, I'll check back in once I've read a good another chunk of it. I didn't know this. There was another board right there. That's what I had all my art on and it just fell off the other day. So that's why there's a big blank space. I can't exactly remember what my last clip was, but I did finish both. Uzumaki uh, and Romina and oh boy oh boy am I traumatized yeah I think I give my thoughts on Romina Uzumaki is just something else isn't it it's like I said before he just oh, he just he goes as far as he can physically go with it and the visuals the visuals are so gross so disgusting everything that I can think of that makes me want to puke. It's in there. And I, I saw people today, I saw some tattoos today on TikTok of some of the stuff uh, from Uzumaki. And I was like, oh, they're so cool, but uh. But yeah, I don't, I think I heard somewhere, or I believe that this was published in, oh, jeez, why? Uh, published in short, um, like chapter by chapter kind of in volumes or whatever and it would really make sense if it was because it really works that way I can imagine you know if this was getting published each week in a magazine I would be on that magazine and I think he he takes it really well like it starts off and it really just ramps up as it goes and just crescendos into this sort of bittersweet kind of romantic ending as gross and as weird and everything as it is um it really does hinge on um the girl and her I thought they were originally friends but it's the girl and her boyfriend and you know them sticking it through until the end and helping each other and stuff and yeah it's just I don't know what else to say but it's so gross and it's so fucked up but there's like 
he does create like great characters and, and like little sort of not side quests but like side things oh I just remembered the snails oh god oh, I didn't want to remember those so yeah he really has a skill for taking really small seemingly insignificant things and turning them into huge horrifying things and like just absolutely like burrowing into your brain so you can't think of anything else I, I I'm still waiting to be um like haunted by the spiral like you know normally when you read something like this you'll start seeing them everywhere I really can't see any in my house I haven't been able to to find any I don't think I have any on my t-shirt so I guess I I have not been chosen by Uzumaki which is good slow sort of disintegration of the town and the town's inhabitants in this story are is great I think the pacing of even though it's uh like different chapters the pacing throughout is great and it's like a slow build up and you can see the thread throughout and you can you get to the end and you look back to the start and you're like oh this was all just so inevitable and horrible and he, he does talk a lot about fate and stuff in these and so yeah I will definitely be picking up some more Junji Ito I will be watching the animes and the the movies I will be honestly I'm gonna be replicating some of the art in this because I want to get better at drawing and it's just so horrifying don't be surprised in the future if you see me with a horrifying horror tattoo from Junji Ito um, so I think these two were good reads. I did prefer Uzumaki because I felt like the, the Chiming characters were more involved in it whereas I understand why but Romina in this was just more of a martyr, more of a, you know, person who was kind of pulled along by everything uh, which I understand but I, I definitely think I enjoyed Uzumaki more and there's just so much more to it and just so much so horrifying, so traumatizing, so harrowing and so gross at all times so definitely if you have a chance to look this guy in the eyes and enjoy this book you should definitely read it. Good luck is what I'm gonna say.